hello students so let us see how we can find the area using uh, zip 10r pro total station so let us switch on this total station yes so whenever you switch on the total station usually either it, uh, it will show the quick survey display or level or plummet display so here my degrees and minutes are zero so i can go with these values okay now hit menu go for f3 apps now we are we, we want to measure the area so let us see area and also the volume so f3 area and if you hit F3, you'll get, you are getting another four options that is select job, station, orientation, and we are ready to go there. So hit F1 to select job. So here default it will show the previous jobs. If you want to create a new job, so here you have a new option. So hit hit F1 for new job. So give any job name. So here I'm giving a job name has. So click enter first. So now you are ready to give a job name. So I'm giving a job name. So if you want alphabets, click this button. And if you want numbers, again, click this, you'll get numbers. So I'm giving A, uh, 77, I'll give number 77. So A77 is my job. Usually you have to give the job name based on what you're taking. So I'm, I'm taking area. So let me give something like area itself. So A R A R seventeen that is okay, and click enter now user. So user, I'm giving S V Shravan something like that. Okay, now hit enter. Okay. So my job is activated. Now next F two to select or uh, station. So here it is my station one. Okay, so. In station one, you have to give ENZ values. So ENZ, I'm giving thousand, five hundred, and hundred. This is optional. You can give thousand, thousand, hundred also. So usually it will measure based on this. That means if a point goes beyond thousand, it will add to this thousand. If a point go beyond this five hundred, it will add to five hundred, like that. So Z means it is a vertical distance, right? So it will add to this vertical distance. That's it. So click enter. So I have given 1500, 100. Enter. Okay. So my station. So after that, it is asking for instrument height. So it is asking for instrument height. So you have to use a tape. From so you can see um, some mark is provided here. You, you have a mark here. So up to here, you have to measure the instrument height So from bottom to this point. So using tape that you have to measure and give this value. So let us give this value as 1.45. Click enter. Okay. So I have given the uh, instrument height. So since the, my instrument is in non prism mode, it is not asking for the prism height. So for if it is in prism mode, after the instrument height, it will ask for the prism height also, that is reflector height also, HR. So that value also you have to give. Now next, uh, station orientation, F3. So uh, let us give the orientation with respect to uh, the angle. Okay. So for angle, I have, uh, I have selected F1. So now what I will do? I will make this bearing zero with respect to north. So I will rotate the instrument towards north using a compass. Using a compass, I will rotate this towards north. I will and I will hit HA that is horizontal angle is equal to zero. So here the my bearing become zero. Okay. And here HR height of reflector is zero because I'm not using the prism mode. So I'm using non-prism mode, that is the reason my height of reflector is zero. Next, click S. Station orientation is set. Now we are ready to do the job. 
go for f4 so you are able to take point 1 so this is point 1 2d is the 2d perimeter perimeter of my area and this is area in 2d okay so let us try to find out this room area so for that let me on laser beam yes so here this corner that corner okay so hit all so it is it went to 2 point 2 that means point 1 is saved point 1 is saved it went to point 2 and there is there are no values my point 1 is saved but there are no values because in order to find a area or perimeter area for area either you need three points at least you need three points to find the area so let us go for the second point yeah so there is my second point i will hit all again so so here you can see the two points are saved now we are able to take third point so my third point is there the another corner now hit all yeah so uh, since I, uh, as i told at least you need three points to calculate the area and perimeter so i have taken three points so it is showing my area and the perimeter let us take the fourth corner also so there my fourth corner hit all yes so this is my area that my area is 99.1 meter square and the perimeter of the the points we have taken is 39.2 meters okay for suppose if you want to calculate the volume also so hit the go for second page you have volume so hit this volume button so it is it will ask for the differential height horizontal the di the differential height so h different h, h diff means height h means height and diff means the difference height of difference so you can enter this value physically or else you can measure that value also so if you want to enter this physically click click enter and you can give that value you can easily simply you can insert that value okay or if you want to take this uh, sorry escape so if you want to measure it so go for measure option so it is asking to measure uh, the upper point so let us let us keep that uh, that, uh, that has the upper point so i will hit all now it is asking to measure the lower point so let me keep that as my lower point and i will click all again so this is my difference height difference that is 1.615 meters now click ok and now it, it is showing the val volume the 2d volume is 147.114 meter cube okay so this is how you can measure the volume and the area thank you